welcome to vedic astronomy initiation and exposure classes today in step 9 we are initiating exposure to vedic mathematics applications vedic mathematics applications to astronomy these applications or there which lead us to the mathematics of lagd vedanga this mathematics begins with the formulation panch sanvastar panch sanvastar would mean 5 years here 5 years duration is being taken as a unit and one year is taken to be of 366 days this leads us to value 5 into 366 is equal to 1830 days timeline panch sanvanstar as such is a timeline of 1830 days this value 1830 becomes the basic value it is this value which is being worked for its different inherent features as to 1 1830 range of values say starting from 1 and reaching up to 1830 how many are the primes how many are the evens how many are the odds how many are the squares how many are the cubes and higher powers further it will also bring us face to face with as to how the primes say in starting with 1 to 100 and then sequentially reaching up till 1 to 1000 and also reaching at 1830 then these primes 1 to 100 beginning with 2 and reaching up till 97 as such will become the values in terms of which the approach would be to reach at 1830 and for it table is drawn and it is written as say 2 then 3 5 then we reach at 97 and let us see that what if 83 over 2 how much is the value 1830 over 3 the value 100 1830 divided by 5 and like that 1830 divided by 97 like that the this value 1830 also will be approached as a division by these prime numbers and then reaching at the remainders and ultimately reaching at the values features formats parallel as a geometric format for that further when we will be approaching in terms of 2 it would be as if we are approaching upon a plane approaching in terms of 3 would mean approaching along a solid approaching along with 4 would mean approaching in a creator's space and like that the values up to 9 space so hypercube 9 is is the value up till which the chase is being had on the geometric format like that 1830 is the value which is being availed 
from many, many different features and values. And then ultimately we will know that astronomy is chasing, say, revolution of the Earth around its own axis. Then revolution of Earth is also being chased along revolution around the Sun. When we know that around the Earth is also having emotions of a moon, therefore it would be another feature, dynamic state. And then as both simultaneously as well will be exposed to the Sun, then it will be giving us another additional feature. Now this space of the Sun as such as it is will be approached in terms of a space around it. A space around the sixth space which is called Akash, a fifth element and being the fifth element having a value of hypercube 5 transcendental domain and we know the transcendental domain as such accepts a solid dimensional order means three spaces play the role of a dimension and further we know the three dimensional frame splits into a pair of three dimensional frames of half dimensions and then these dimensions become the solid dimensions because it is here a dimensional frame it as such will be taking us to value 3 raised to power 3 and 3 raised to power 3 and it is this chase of the space in terms of a three dimensional frame of half solid dimensions and of value 27 becomes the basic feature of the mathematics of the Vedic astronomy being worked out as Lagda Jyotish Vedanga. Therefore it is this feature that space of the Sun of the Surya is being chased as a transcendental space, as a solid order space, as having a solid dimensional frame of half solid dimensions of value 27. And that way the pair of such dimensional frames availability is being specifically availed by the Lagda Jyotish Vedanga by having a distinct Surya Nakshatra and the Chandra Nakshatra. It is this feature of distinct Surya and Naksh Chandra Nakshatras are the features which brings in value 27 in a very prominent role to be played. Now we see from here that in fact there are the, the many dynamic states being simultaneously worked out. One state is a calendar of a sun, a Surya itself. The second is taken as a calendar of a moon, Chandra. Then it is also taken as the normal calendar of the earth which is called a Savan. And in addition we are having Surya Nakshatra and we are having Chandra Nakshatra. Therefore, there are as many as five different types of dynamic states which are being worked out. And it is here where the Ganita Sutras become the basic mathematics sutras. Ganita Sutras, these are 13 in number we know, and the first is Anurupe. Anurupe, we know the formulation Anu is having triple letters A, Na and U. We know it is having values 2, 8 and 3. This value 2, 8 and 3 is the value which deserves to be appreciated because this value 2 as such is A plus A. Now here we can see that this value 2, 8 and 3 is the value of the total letters of the Ganita Sutras. So Sutras are being followed by Upsutras. 
and these Upsutras are being made available as a working mathematics of the astronomy of the Ganita of the Vedanga like the Vedanga your Sutra the like that the first as Anurupe the second Sutra is Shishyate Shesh Sangya means the division and the remainder Shishyate Shesh Sangya here the focus is upon the remainders and the third is Adi Adin Ante Mante so when we are having two distinct intervals or formats then both are worked out simultaneously by having a parallel placements for the beginning and end points and as well as the middle like that the symmetry is worked out so here we are having as many as five different dynamic states and these five dynamic states say are, are all of them are exhausting the range 1813 so 1813 state is to be worked out this range is to be worked out say as five years as 10 ions hemispheres as 30 seasons as 360 normal days as 366 solar days as 30 days of the earth with the day being parallel to the revolution of the earth around its axis as 27 days month parallel to the motion of the moon around the earth itself it is this way that there are different components different features of the timeline which are being simultaneously worked out for all the five dynamic states therefore for all the five dynamic states to be worked out for the same range as 1830 as the value as a timeline unit so timeline unit of 1830 value is being worked out in five different operators five different operators of the motions of the sun of the moon of the earth and of the space of the sun and space of the moon these five different type of the motions are being worked out by the time unit taking it to be 1830 now let us have a our view of this value and how it will be helping us to reach at its inherent <coughs> value value 1830 when taken as a pair of digits will take us to value 18 and value 30 value 18 gives a split 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and value 30 gives us a split 6 plus 7 plus 8 for 9 value 3 4 6 5 is going to be the fourfold manifestation layer of hypercube 5 the representative regular body of 5 space however value 6 7 8 9 is a fourfold manifestation layer of hypercube 8 hypercube 8 as a fourfold manifestation layer is being the reach of the value 30 now this reach starting with three space as dimension reaching it up to six space as an origin and in continuity now having six space as dimension and reaching up to nine space as origin is the going to be the reach so it is one value it is one feature of this value it is this feature of this value which deserves to be comprehended well one shall be face to face with this feature of this value as it is ultimately going to give us a proper insight and it will lead us to appropriate enlightenment about the mathematics being availed, worked out and values being reached by Panch Sanvanstar as a mathematics of the Lagd Jyotish Vedanga and as the timeline unit going to be of 183 euro value is ultimately helping us have a unified apparatus 
unified format for the dynamic states of the sun, of the moon, of the earth and of the axis frame of the space of the sun and axis frames of the space of the, of the moon. Now this axis frames, distinct axis frames, pair of axis frames as these are we know we have visited previous day as to how these are synthesized. Jyoti is a synthesizing. This is synthesis of the dimensional frames, solid dimensional frames of half solid dimensions of the space of the sun and of the moon. How it gets a synthesized by the Jyoti. It is this synthesis phenomenon of the Jyoti which is going to be the ultimate reach of the mathematics of the Lagda Jyotish Vedanga as from this phase reach we will be reaching ahead to a Brahma Jyoti reach. Now we will be coming to it afterwards when we will be taking up the Vedic astronomy in its generality. When we will be approaching the mathematics of the Vedic, general, Vedic astronomy in its generality of the second phase, that will be a phase where the Brahma Jyoti will be integrating the entire existence phenomena. Now we are restricting ourselves up till the first phase and it is the phase of the Jyoti synthesizing the pair of dimensional solid dimensional frames of half solid dimensions. Now it is being done with the along the timeline uh, as a unit of value 1830 and value 1830 as we have seen here is taking us to a particular very broad feature as that starting with three spaces dimension we reach at nine spaces origin with the in between phase and stage of six spaces and origin also resulting into a dynamic state so six space from its set static state to six space in its dynamic state is the reach it is actually the reach which will provide us a transition format it is on this transition format that we will be reaching from the first phase of the Vedic astronomy to the second phase of the Vedic astronomy. So first phase of the Vedic astronomy takes us up till six phase in the static state as an origin and the second stage begins with six phase in a dynamic state. So six phase from static state to six phase to the dynamic state is the reach transition and it is this phase and stage which deserves to be comprehended well. One shall be face to face with it. By being face to face with it, we will be having a appropriate appreciation and insight for appropriate attainment of the enlightenment for a transition from the first phase to the second phase. Transition from the static state of six space, static state of a sun to a dynamic state of the sun. Therefore, our focus at present remains only up till the six space in a static state. Six space as a st static state means in the role of an origin. Therefore, six space as an origin is taking us to three space as a dimension. So three space as a dimension we are sequentially will reach at 3 space, 4 space, 5 space and 6 space. This as such is a solid state. It is a physical matter state. It is the first element state. It is the earth. Therefore earth motion chase is 3 space in the role of a dimension. But we know that 3 space itself is a linear order space. Therefore one space in the role of a dimension manifesting as three space domain which when is taken in a dynamic state in a dimension fold then sequentially it will take us to this four fold manifestation layer so one two three four as one space as a dimension two space as a boundary three space as a domain and four space as an origin but when all these are in a dynamic state then one space shall be creating three space, two space will be creating four space, 
three space will be creating five space and four space will be creating six space it is this creation for this state six space in a static state as an origin is taking us to a space five space hypercube five so hypercube five a enveloping transcendental enveloping boundary of a six space so when six space is in a static state then in fact it is within a enveloping transcendental space now this static state as it is we know is actually having a inner dynamic state so the upper domain and a static state is having inner dynamic state it is this outer static state and this is inner dynamic state it is this feature which deserves to be comprehended well we know that the four space is having a, again a boundary it is a solid boundary therefore the students of vedic mathematics science and technology shall see one is taking to value one and when we reach here we know that we say it is a formulation ka which would mean eight and it actually will take us to eight directional frame it is this reach from one space in a dynamic state now this one becomes a formulation eight of value eight and it that way takes us to a eight directional frame so it eight directional frame is nothing but a two space a hypercube to form a domain and step ahead we know we will be reaching at what value it is a three space we know it is also the value of three it is this feature which deserves to be comprehended well so from eight when we reach at eight then it again it takes us to three because eight is the value of the three three as well as one so it is this feature ek is equal to eight and three is equal to eight this feature deserves to be comprehended well here let us have a pause and let us take note that vedic systems have very uniquely approached the take first dimension say as one then take the second dimension and give it a value two now the third dimension as it is it will get the value three but if we begin with this as one then it will this make it as a three so it is three going to one and one going to three is the feature of the mathematics it is this feature of the mathematics that this one space and three space interconnected to be taken as superimposed position it is this superimposed positions of one space and three space which is the inherent potentiality of the vedic system therefore three space as domain and one space as a dimension it is this interrelationship which is taking us to a ultimately it becomes unmanifest because one and three so we from go from one eight for to three it would actually would mean that we are having a simultaneously both fold approach and that way the fourth becomes unmanifest it is called avyakt let us make note of the formulation avyakt it means unmanifest it means a zero so this gives a value here so reach of the value 1 8 3 and 0 as coming to be in this particular format as it is that this space means fifth element hypercube 5 the representative regular body by five space hypercube 5 as this transcendental boundary of a surya six space six space being in static state now it makes its boundary transcendental boundary as well in this position 
in a static state. It is this reach of a static state in this particular form as an outer surface, the outer fold. So outer fold for the static sun. It is the outer fold of the static sun which is having a dynamic fold, inner dynamic fold. It is this inner dynamic fold which is leading us to value 1830. Let us have a pass. Let us revisit this value 1830. Let us see it is the value of a static state sun as an outer boundary and, and in a static state. It is this static state which is taking us, leading us to the inner dynamic state and it is this inner dynamic state which is going to be the value 1830. One shall have a pause here, one shall make a specific note, one shall reach at the value 1830 for its outer static state. Outer static state is parallel to the transcendental boundary of a Surya in a static state. The inner fold is a dynamic fold. One space has dimension of three space, two space has dimension of four space, three space has dimension of five space and four space has dimension of four space has dimension of six space. Now this is this particular state which gives us that when one goes into it creates an eight dimensional frame for the special order and then further we can reach it a value zero is going to be in a static state for a six space means a zero dimensional reach then value is three it means it is a first dimensional order so when single axis creates three space then at value eight we know it is going to be the pair of axis availability then at the next stage we are having all the triple axis we know this all is happening with a, a transcendental domain within a five space and we know five space is having a creative boundary of 10 components it being so it gives us a value zero here but gives a value 10 here gives a value 100 here and gives a value 1000 here so it going to be reached as 1000 as 800 as 30 and 0 therefore it is a really very blissful interesting mathematical chain of steps one shall reach at these sequential mathematical steps for the value 183 as 1830 and 0 then 1000 is to be taken to be the reach at the triple axis value 8 is to be reached as pair of axis value 3 is to be reached at a single axis and the zero value is naturally at a zero axis level once we are like that then we will see that how the outer static transcendental boundary state of the sun and how the inner dynamic state of this particular transcendental fold so this reach as it is in terms of a timeline unit of value 1830 is the big basic foundational reach and comprehension of the Lagd Jyotish Vedanga. It is this initial comprehension and reach of a Lagd Jyotish Vedanga to have a timeline unit of value 1830 is deserves to be comprehended well. <coughs> one shall sit comfortably, one shall be face to face with it and one should reach at all these particular steps. So first step shall be that sun is in a static state, there is a transcendental space around it and then the inner fold is a dynamic state 
one shall express oneself fully, one shall be face to face with it, one shall acquire more and more insight about it, one shall acquire proper enlightenment about it and once we are with it then we will be working out the value 1830 with the simple operations of effectors, divisions and smaller equations, coordination and parallel components which are going to be very very simple mathematics and it is because of it that the Vedic mathematics of Ganita Sutras is successful to provide a foundation for the Lagda Jyotish Vedanga to have a simultaneous approach for five different dynamic states of our solar universe. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Thank you.